Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Quarantine Q, hosted by your Quarantine Jew. Let's get to it. Trump unveiled a missile that travels 17 times the speed of current missiles, referring to it as, this is true, a super duper missile. Although, given Trump's deceitful nature, it's likely that the missile is only duper. One Hanoi chef is attempting to boost morale in the Vietnamese capital by selling green coronavirus-themed burgers. He said, if you want to beat it, you've got to eat it first. His previous food creations include the SARS sausages, Ebola enchiladas, and gonorrhea green beans. A South Korean football club apologized for filling stands with sex dolls to represent fans which explains why the team wasn't able to maintain a clean sheet. A woman received giant fake Apple AirPods from Amazon. Luckily, they fit just right for her newborn baby son. The European Space Agency said Friday that human urine could one day become a useful ingredient in making concrete to build on the moon. Buzz Aldrin commented, Looks like the first street is already up there. A man who wore a watermelon on his head while stealing from a convenience store has been arrested. He was planning to use the money to pay for a wedding, but now they can't elope. I know we've all been missing sports lately, so this past week I suited up to enforce some fair play. I'm here to uh, enforce some social distancing. Uh, we've got uh, the full attire, got the mask, uh, some spray to use to enforce the lines. Um, let's see, we've got some hand sanitizer, got that down, and then uh, tape measure to get that distance going. We've got a uh, full whistle, yellow cards in the pocket, red as well, and then uh, full FIFA logo, FIFA certified. <laughs> Excuse me, that is droplet exposure. All right, we're gonna see a uh, red card for that. We're gonna have to go away. Send him out. It's also Harry Potter. Guys, we need distance. We need distance. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> I don't know how to do <laughs> six feet, six feet, all right? Thank you, thank you for it, thank you. And I will put their mask on. Thank you for abiding by it. Yep, yep, Stop, that's it. cocaine. All of it. <laughs> Excuse me, we need distance. We need too much room. We got space. We need. We gotta get to 72. Okay, here we go. Right here, please. Is this still your Yeah. It is. Thank you for abiding by a lot. Thank you. Yeah. This is a good thing. You might just get to see a bit of history here. Who? Video assistant referee in use for the first time. What's it going to be? He's had a look at it, the referee to be a stealer. And he's awarded a penalty. And that will be a yellow card. See our distance here. Oh, uh, we're looking at just under six feet. Just under six feet for both. Gonna be yellow cards for both. Lack of proper equipment, yellow card. 
NBA Commissioner Adam Silver says they don't expect fans back this year. Phew, commented New York Knicks fans. Whistleblower Rick Bright testified before the House to warn of the darkest winter in modern history approaching due to coronavirus. His exact words were, winter is coming, and when the long night falls, only the Night's Watch will stand between the realm and the darkness that sweeps from the north. Elon Musk named his baby XAEA12 Musk. His first childhood friends, R2D2 and C3PO. Supporters of Korean baseball teams can't attend games in person, so they sent life-size cutouts in their place. That's it, commented New York's Knicks fans once again. An executive at Uber laid off 3,500 of the company's employees during a three-minute Zoom call due to the pandemic, granting Uber the title Worst X of All Time. Fauci has Republicans debating if he's the pandemic hero or villain. In other words, he's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. From Quarantine Q, I'm your host, Ethan Gomber. Good night. Thank you.